Leave a like on the video if you like Roman Atwood. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Top 10 Videos. Today we are going to be counting down 10 secrets about Roman Atwood. Roman Atwood is definitely one of the most entertaining vloggers out there, and personally he is by far my favorite. I can't tell you the last time I missed one of his uploads, but anyways, let's start going over 10 secrets about Roman Atwood. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and be sure to comment I subscribed in the comment section and we will try to respond to every single one of you guys. So now, coming up at spot number 10. Roman Atwood's career didn't start at vlogging. He has many different YouTube channels in the past. As he has said in his videos before, but the reason his name got so big in the YouTube community is by his pranks. He is a prankster. His most famous prank that almost everyone has seen is the pee prank. A prank where he goes around in public and he has a water ball between his legs to obviously make it appear as if he was peeing. This video absolutely blew up with breaking over 24 million views. The craziest part behind this all is his pee prank was on the police. Here check out a clip of him and his buddy actually doing the prank. Whoa, what, what the heck? What the heck's going on, doing, dude? Man? What are you doing? Grab me like that. What the heck happened? Jesus oh, Christ. God, I just came up and was offended that, that you were pissing down there. Man, man, no, I was pissing this in my sports bottle, dude, my water bottle. <laughs> he wasn't pissing, it was his bottle. Next up at number nine, Roman Atwood has tinnitus. It's an inner ear disorder that makes it so his ears randomly start to ring, which can end up being very uncomfortable and irritating. Have your ears ever started to make that high pitched ringing noise? And then you ask someone around you if they hear it also. Well imagine hearing that painful noise every day and it occurring more than once a day. This usually happens to people once a month or so. I personally could not imagine having that high pitched dog whistle sound blasting into my ear throughout periods of the day. I hope they find a way to help cope this problem, that way nobody else has to go through it. Number 8 Roman Atwood was given a Nissan GTR for allowing Nissan to use his ball pit for one of their commercials. And now with that GTR he has pulled many crazy stunts. One stunt they have done with the GTR is they have actually had someone who was just around 9 to 10 years old go off a jump and jump over the GTR with a scooter. Roman must have had a lot of trust in this young man. I'm not sure if they landed it or not. You'll have to take a look for yourself. Here, check it out. Here we go. We got this. Woo! Yeah, dude. Give me a hug, dude. That's amazing. You jumped it so easy. Heck yeah. That's it. He jumped the GTR. I'm so proud of him, man. That's amazing. This stunt is particularly my favorite so far. I don't know how they convinced Roman to let him jump over his car or if it was Roman's idea, but luckily he stuck the landing and the car is safe. Number 7. Roman Atwood is one of three stars in a movie that came out in February of 2016. The movie was starring Roman Atwood, Dennis Rohde, and Vitaly, three of the biggest YouTube pranksters. The movie is called Natural Born Pranksters, which the movie is based on some of their craziest pranks. And I personally have not watched the movie yet, but I've heard that they all come together and they do a huge prank in the film together. Take a look at a little clip from the trailer. For years, their pranks have gone viral. Get the hell away from my car, you stupid little prick. But what happens when they get too big? For the internet. I don't know. How do you know? I pissed on myself. They're hitting the big screen. I love your videos. Can you adopt me? Can I take a picture with you? Number six. Britney isn't Roman's first serious relationship. Before he met Britney, he was with a female by the name of Shauna. They ended up getting married when Roman was just around 18 years old. Then they end up getting divorced due to Roman finding out that she was cheating on him. Before they got divorced, they actually had a child together. Many of you probably know who he is. His name is Noah, Roman's oldest son. Those two always do amazing things together. Like we're ever going to see that. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Horse and buggy, dude. The Oregon Trail. What is that? There's more. Here comes more. Oh my 
Come on, Swimby. I want to ride with them. I would love. Yeah, me I would too. love to spend an entire day with the Amish or like a, a weekend. Me too. And just like I would want to do this. Aww. That's awesome, dude. What? Number five, Roman Atwood changes people's lives. Make a Wish Foundation contacted Roman about two boys who all they wanted to do was meet him, which is such an honor. So Noah and Roman flew down there to meet the two boys. They had absolutely no clue what was going on, and then Roman just showed up. They both were so happy to see him. The first boy is named Keegan Harrell. Last year, just around Christmas, they got horrible news that Keegan ended up having cancer, and they thought they were going to have to chop his legs off. Cancer is such a horrible thing, and thank goodness Keegan is a strong soldier and he keeps fighting. It's almost Christmas time. Knock, knock. What's up? How you doing, buddy? I'm good. <laughs> How are you? Hi, fam. You ready to have some fun? <laughs> so for this next boy that wanted to meet Roman Atwood for his Make-A-Wish Foundation, also having a hard time and is a strong fighter. His name is Caden. To be honest, I don't know exactly what his conditions were. They weren't really specified in the video, but it was his birthday on the day he got to meet Roman, which makes it just that much more special. So I'm glad that he got to meet Roman on this day. And I bet you, this is by far his favorite birthday ever. What up, dude? What up, What up, What's going on? It's your birthday, right? Yeah. Oh. Sure. Do you guys need this trash taken out? <laughs> 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 Number 4 Roman and Brittany are actually not married. They've been together for over 8 years now. They started dating in November of 2008. She has a son with Roman, which his name is Cain, and she is also pretty much the stepmother of Roman's son Noah. Something else that's pretty special is, they have a little person coming on the way as well. They haven't announced if it's a boy or girl yet, I don't think they're that far into the pregnancy to figure it out. But this will be an exciting turn in their lives. You're ready to do this, a hundred percent. Um. I should be, you should be asking me. I'm the one that's like, we should wait. And you're like, let's tell them. No, I think everyone should know. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I don't think Brittany and I expected to start today's vlog like this today. Um, last night, actually, this morning was confirmed, but last night we found out that Brittany is officially, finally, pregnant. <laughs> yes! Number three. He has done many collaborations with some very famous celebrities, which one is Steve-O, who is a reality star. What I know him most popular for is, he starred in the film Jackass with Johnny Knoxville. But Roman Atwood and Steve-O filmed the prank called the What Would You Do prank. There was also a few other YouTubers who were in the collaboration like Vitaly and Dennis, but it's a prank where they try to figure out what the people in public would do. Easier to be seen than said, so check it out. Hey everybody, I'm Steve-O with a crucial special message about the importance of helping your fellow man. Will anybody do the right thing? Today we find out! Whoa. Okay. That's, enough. That's, enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. Don't worry about it. That's not enough. That's not enough. Yo, stop. Get out of here. What'd he do? What'd he do? What'd he do? He's laying here. Number two. Roman Atwood was diagnosed with carbon monoxide poisoning at age 16, and he had an 80% chance of dying. Those odds are very high. Thank goodness Roman overcame the poisoning, or we could have missed out on watching one of the most entertaining YouTubers. Number one. Before Roman was a superstar YouTuber, he used to work in his family's business. His family owned a company called Atwood Rope. The name of their company is pretty self-explanatory. They created rope. I'm pretty sure the business is still up and running today. Their slogan was, working to keep the world tied together, which is sort of the same concept of how Roman's Smile More company is. They want to just keep everyone smiling and together. Even though they mean with the rope for the company, it has the same expression, just to keep the world together. 
Well, that's going to be it, guys. I hope I taught you a few new things you didn't know about Roman Atwood. And if I did, go down below and tell me which fact you learned. And it's been Top 10 Videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.